Hey everyone, it's Alexandra. Hope you're having a great day. So today's video is the heroine's journey, the mother's heroine's journey. And I've been thinking about motherhood a lot um, recently and just my own journey being a mom. My son turns eight um, in a month and my, my daughter's three and a half. And it's a really transformational time when you become a mom, like literally life altering that you couldn't even prepare for really. And I felt like I was pretty prepared. I've researched and I studied and, you know, I was so clear that how I wanted to be, how I wanted to go through my pregnancy. And I was so clear that I wanted to have a home birth and I did for both of the kids and that I wanted to breastfeed longer than normal and that I wanted to homeschool them. I was super interested in education and have studied that a lot of, and just homeschooling felt like a yes for me. So I was very clear on that, but still the jumping into motherhood for me, the ch most challenging part was that I felt like I was just going to go about my creativity and my work, and then I was just going to also be at home with the kids. Um, but that's not really, it's not <laughs> really how it goes, um, at, at least in the way that I wanted to do it, how I wanted to do my work and creativity and how I wanted to be with the kids. Um, I felt like if I did too much of my work, then I didn't give my kids the much. So I've had this like dance of finding the right balance for me. And I also think that motherhood is, um, well, I think, so the hero's journey, that's kind of like the call to adventure. And then you have your demons and your obstacles on that adventure. And then this is, I feel like this is more of the masculine way about it. It's kind of like you go out in the world and you do these things and then you're faced with obstacles and then, you know, you achieve your goals and then you bring that back to the community. And I don't know where I heard this, but I think I love it that there's more feminine heroine's journey and I think it's so great with motherhood is it's more of an internal thing that the call of adventure is really to transform our inner life and then the obstacles and the demons that come up are our own inner our, our thoughts our emotions you know our habits and just really doing an inner transformation less about out in the world um, and I've definitely and then whatever you gain you gain your light, you gain your power, the next evolution of you, and then you bring that to your family and to the world. And it's more of your beingness um, than something you accomplished. So I like to look at motherhood in that way. And I'm so inspired and so humbled by this journey because I feel like our inner demons come up. You know, whether you uh, are decided that you want to be at a, uh, working at home as a mom or part-time working or working at an office or going out and being full-time working mom, there's so many different ways that you can go about it. But I think no matter what you do, there is still the, the, um, the guilt and the questioning in the just not sure, the doubt, the fear, all of those inner demons come up. So I love that it's really calling us forth to get in integrity. And this is where I love listening to our souls. Like what is your soul calling to you it, to do in regards to motherhood? Like how is your soul wanting you to mother? And I was so clear on how my soul wanted to mother, but I didn't feel like that was, it's always been easy for me. Um, my creativity has always been easier for me than the motherhood. But I'm so like committed to the vision that I have and I see how I am, how I'm shifting, how I'm changing, how this is right where I'm supposed to be doing what I'm here to do. Um, learning basically to be how, a, to be how, to have a great family, to be a great mom, um, to be an awesome, you know, um, wife. So these are things that I am studying. I'm learning. This is where, where I feel called to put most of my energy and time. And I just, I think for women and mothers, where we suffer and where I have suffered in the past around motherhood is the ambivalence, not being like, not asking the deep, intense questions and then really listening to what is calling, calling us and then not either not willing to take that action or just kind of like sort of going through the motions. Um, so that's just something to look at in the heroine's journey just to be aware of like are you really in integrity with what your soul is calling you to do and if you are then no guilt no shame nothing just just rock it like be and do what you feel called to do 
regardless of what anyone else is doing. I think there's so much comparing to of like, this mom's doing it that way, that mom's doing it this way, how should I do it, da 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 da. And then we have these ideas of what a good mom is and de deconstructing all of that and go deep into you. It's all about you and how you feel like you want to express um, your best with your kids and your family. So those are just my thoughts on motherhood um, and the hero's journey and just maybe some different ways um, to look at it. And then, yeah, I would love to hear if you, like your heroine's journey with motherhood, how it's been for you, what have been some of your challenges, what are the inner demons you have faced. I'm just so fascinated with this topic and I think it's one that we don't talk about as much in our culture. And I don't think motherhood's celebrated as much either. I like, there's, what is it? Um, Mother Teresa is, if you want to change the world, go home and love your family. And I think there's some truth to that. And that's not, doesn't mean that you can't go out and work and change the world in that way. But, you know, how we love our family, we're raising the next generation. Like that should be celebrated in our culture. Like there's, that should be a very noble thing. And it's like, what do you do? Um, and if people are like, oh, I'm just a mom, it's kind of like there's this feeling of like, oh, just a mom. I wonder what she does all day. Well, let me tell you. And as all the moms out there know, just a mom at home all day with the kids is work. And it's great, noble work, but um, she's just not at home just doing nothing. <laughs> so... Um, I just think that's really empowering to look at motherhood as a noble act and as a way to change the world. Like how we mother our children is impacting the world. It's impacting the next generation, it, the generation after that. Like we have the ability to change the world with how we mother and how we support other mothers and other families. And um, yeah, so that's something to think about too. Being a mother is a noble act and you are changing the world when you're doing it um, intentionally and consciously and doing it with love and all of those things. So I am sending all you moms out there lots of love on your heroine's journey. I would love to hear your thoughts and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, big love to you and your family. Mwah.